What is going on everybody? So I am back to talk about another new release film today. This is a movie that I went and watched as a double feature with the Lightyear movie. And this is a movie that's going to appeal to a very niche audience because it is based off of a TV show. And the film I'm going to be talking about today is the Bob's Burgers movie. The Bob's Burgers movie is directed by Lauren Bouchard and Bernard Derryman. When a ruptured water main creates an enormous sinkhole right in front of Bob's Burgers, it blocks the entrance indefinitely and ruins the Belcher's plans for a successful summer. While Bob and Linda struggle to keep the business afloat, the kids try to solve a mystery that could save their family's restaurant. So if you're familiar familiar with the Bob's Burgers TV show, this film has all the characters that you know and love brought onto the big screen. And I would say my favorite part of this film is with a higher budget like this, the animation was gorgeous. They really spent a lot of time creating a lot more depth and colors were so vibrant. The characters were so great to see on that big screen setting. And I really enjoyed most of the plot arcs in this film. I felt like, you know, when you look at a show like Bob's Burgers, it's a comfort TV show for me where I've been watching it for a very long time. The characters are, are ones I love. Linda Belcher's like one of my favorite characters on any TV show. I just love her ridiculous over the top personality and the whole family dynamic between all of them and the incredible voice cast led by uh, H. John Benjamin, who I think is fucking phenomenal in everything that he does. There's TV shows like 20 minute episodes. And so you have these very kind of confined plot arcs. And I feel like where this movie kind of falls short is it's an hour and 40 minutes long and you can tell they were trying to build this sort of larger than life narrative that would translate better to the screen. But there's a lot of scenes in this film that just feel kind of bloated and like they're overstaying their welcome. And because of how niche the sense of humor is for Bob's Burgers in a 20 minute episode, the humor always resonates really well and it hits over and over again. Where there were moments in this film where I felt like the humor didn't hit perfectly because you're in it for so long that some of the jokes feel a little recycled and not as entertaining as the ones on the TV show. But it didn't take me out of it enough to where I didn't enjoy it. I love these characters and they mean a lot to me and I feel like translating this to the big screen is obviously an incredibly daunting task to try to create something that will keep viewers attention for this period of time. And I feel like they do a decent enough job. Like it said, you know, the beginning of the film is that bank is coming to tell the, the Belchers that they haven't paid their loan payment on time and they're gonna repay possess all of the kitchen equipment and Bob's trying really hard because they're having a festival at the Wonder Wharf uh, that he wants to try to make as much money as he can to make sure that he can save the equipment. Well, all of a sudden a huge sinkhole pops up in front of the restaurant. No one can get in there and that creates another layer of problems. And then with the kids, literally they decide Louise gets bullied at school one day and gets called a baby. And so she decides one night that she wants to film herself crawling into the hole in front of the restaurant. And she ends up finding a dead body down there. Well, they end up arresting Mr. Fish Odor because uh, the bullet that killed the man that they found was in his gun. And she doesn't think that he did it. And Mr. Fish Odor is, was telling them beforehand that he would help bail them out of paying rent. And so she thinks that if she saves Mr. Fish Odor from going to jail, that they can save the restaurant. So you also have that plot playing simultaneously with like fun little side arcs with like Jean's character and with Tina's character and there's a lot of little fun things that play into it but creating this overall arc of like solving this murder mystery in this town. I liked that element of it. I feel like there's a lot of fun moments that really sent me laughing really hard and then as per Bob's Burgers usual there are several musical numbers in this film. Some of them weren't as strong as the other ones. I feel like I always am really kind of surprised at how much effort is put into each and every Every individual song in the Bob's Burgers TV show. It's been really impressive just there's so many animated TV shows that have exist over the span of time and it's always fun for me to watch these creators and how they keep audiences immersed in their content and one of the things that has always kind of set Bob's Burgers above for me as far as animated TV shows is that they do incorporate those musical numbers that kind of give the show even more of this like life and the musical numbers in this, I really enjoyed the first one a lot. This, the, um, the one about summer, 
the ones later on in the film weren't as great. Uh, There's one in the third act punch about the murder mystery that was kind of like hit or miss for me, but it didn't detract from the fact that I enjoyed the film. I, f I feel like if you love these characters and you enjoy their stories, they do a lot of callbacks to things that have happened in previous episodes. You don't necessarily have to have seen a ton of the show to know. I'm still like a season behind on getting caught up to where it's at on TV right now, and I still 100% was on board with all of it. Uh, I feel like Bob's Burgers is one of those shows where they'll have a couple episodes in each season that have like a somewhat string together plot arc, but if you haven't seen the whole show and you're looking for a laugh, it's not something that's gonna be distracted from your experience if you haven't watched the whole TV show. I felt like this was still a really enjoyable experience. If you're a fan of Bob's Burgers and these characters and what they've brought to the screen, I think you'll really appreciate it. The time and effort that was put into this obviously was incredible, more than I could even imagine. And yeah, it's fun to go to the theater and watch something with characters that you love this much and and see them translated on the big screen. I mean, you know, shows like The Simpsons and South Park have been have done their renditions of this and put movies in the theater. And Bob's Burgers is a show that's really holding its own and that continues to impress and keeps getting renewed and people love it and they love the characters. And so it was fun to finally get to see them put on the big screen. So have you seen the Bob's Burgers movie yet? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was a lot of fun. Despite its flaws that it has, I still think it's an enjoyable experience. And if you like the TV show, you should definitely go watch it. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.